Hello, my name is Marie Avadis. I'm a composer and pianist. I'm so excited to be <laughs> again. I'm so excited to be in Berlin talking about my debut Deutsche Grammophon album, Etude Melodic. I was born in Lebanon and grew up in a musician family. My father was a musician and I, my first stage appearance was at the age of five, singing with my father's band. But then, after a few years later, I started with piano because I found it much interesting than singing. To be an Armenian in, uh, in Lebanon is a kind of a very lucky thing, I think, because we have the privilege to have our own schools, our own church, our own music school, but still having the freedom to have all those possibilities and still be, as a Lebanese Armenian, being connected to Lebanon. My grandparents, they escaped from Armenia in 1915 and they built their home in Syria. And afterwards, when my father uh, got married, let's say, so they came to Lebanon and started building their family in Lebanon. I had two friends, they were studying in Hanover, so I came to visit them the first time. And I loved being in Hanover, in the Musikhochschule there. So I decided I will come and study there. So they helped me to get into con uh, contact with uh, professors, and then I did my exam and I was accepted. That's why I came here. But um, usually students come, they study and they go back. But for me, it was like I knew I will study and I will stay here. So here I am. <laughs> My journey to composition, it started, I, I had one try when I was 16. In that time I was playing a lot of Chopin, Mozart, Beethoven. So I started composing, but I was so frustrated because after creating four or five pieces, I just realized they sound like Mozart or Chopin or, or Beethoven, the pieces that I used to play in that time. So I was frustrated and I, do, I didn't want to create music which sounds like something already exists, and especially uh, those huge, huge masters. And after being here studying the piano, I stopped playing because I wanted to do something different. I wanted to have a different path in music. That was the time where I, I came back to composing. The first steps I started composing some piano pieces and started to put it in my repertoire, in my concerts. And the moment I started realizing that people like it, that was the main, the first step where I thought of, um, I would like to go this path and stop playing old repertoires. My story with DG was very interesting and very nice and I'm happy that I'm here today. <laughs> so um, I had an album, Una Corda Diaries, and I sent it to Deutsche Grammophon. And the interesting thing was that I get an answer back telling me they would like to take one piece of that album and put it in a project, Project 12. Uh, with different artists and um, of course I was excited and I was so happy about the situation but it was kind of for me not right because I was taking out one piece out of the whole collection or let's say the family and taking one piece out and um, the decision was should I do or not because I was afraid if I will reject in the end maybe it's the uh, worst thing I could do in my life, but I decided to say, well, I'm so sorry, but I cannot do this. Um, it doesn't feel right. But I have other pieces if you are interested. And luckily, they were interested to listen to other pieces. And in the end, one of the, those pieces came into Project 12. It 
it started with improvisation. So I had always these sketches. Those were sketches of one minute where I, I used to sit on the piano, start playing and recording myself and always doing that. And every time I found a piece or a sketch that I liked, um, I heard it again, wrote the notes and then started to think of how can I develop that piece. So it was a process of improvising part of the beginning and then starting to think of how I could develop it. But in an intuitive way, because uh, I didn't want to put it into a certain classical structure. It was more of what would I like to do now? What are the harmonies that I would like to use? And what are the technical aspects that I want to put in that piece? And that's how I started to compose those pieces. I'm grateful to do the thing that I love the most. And um, when I was um, 12 or 13, I already knew, or at least I decided in, with myself that I will be a pianist or I will be a musician, an artist. And I'm lucky to be able to do that still, because I know some people uh, didn't manage to do that, that path, even if they wanted to. So um, I think it's important to say that it's very, necessary that if you have a dream not to give up even if it's difficult because one day if if we stay and we we believe in what we do it will definitely happen one day <laughs>